Welcome now to a presentation of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, celebrated this Sunday for those who are unable to actively participate. Today's Mass is sponsored by the Sarah Club of Omaha in cooperation with WOWT NBC Omaha. The Sarah Club thanks the following advertisers and sponsors for their generous support in presenting the Mass for shut-ins. The Sarah Club also thanks all those individual donors that make this program possible. Good morning. We are pleased to share with you the Mass of the Roman Catholic Faith. We especially invite you who are homebound or hospitalized to join in spirit all the faithful worshiping today. Our presiding celebrant is Father Mike Eckley from St. Wenceslaus Parish in Omaha, and he is assisted by our electors, Sarah Herman Weist and John Passarelli. Our musicians this week are choir members from St. Matthew the Evangelist Parish in Bellevue. And I am your commentator, Art Hastings. Today is the feast of the most holy body and blood of Christ, or Corpus Christi Sunday. The Lord fed his people with the finest wheat and honey, and their hunger was satisfied. May our worship of the Holy Sacrament help us experience the peace of God's kingdom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us take a moment to acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You are the cup of eternal salvation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You lead us to the eternal banquet of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is a reading from the book of Genesis. In those days, Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. And being a priest of God Most High, he blessed Abram with these words. Blessed be Abram by God Most High, the creator of heaven and earth. And blessed be God Most High, who delivered your foes into your hand. Then Abram gave him a tenth of everything. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our responsorial psalm this morning is, O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord, Lord our God, God how, how wonderful, wonderful your name in all the earth. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord, Lord our, our God, God, how wonderful, how wonderful your, your name, name in all the earth. earth. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. 
O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord, Lord our God, God how, how wonderful, wonderful your name in all the earth. The second reading is from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds about the kingdom of God, and he healed those who needed to be cured. As the day was drawing to a close, the twelve approached him and said, Dismiss the crowd so that they can go to the surrounding villages and farms and find lodging and provisions for we are in a deserted place here. He said to them, Give them some food yourselves. They replied, Five loaves and two fish are all we have, unless we ourselves go and buy food for all these people. Now the men there numbered about 5,000. Then he said to his disciples, Have them sit down in groups of about 50. They did so and made them all sit down. Then taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing over them, broke them and gave them to disciples to set before the crowd. They all ate and were satisfied. And when the leftover fragments were picked up, they filled 12 wicker baskets. The Gospel of the Lord. I want to begin by first wishing the Sarahs that are, Sarans that are here with me in the studio and all of you fathers out there a very happy and a very blessed Father's Day. Naturally, in preparation for this Mass, I've been thinking quite a bit about my own father. My father died, it'll be 14 years ago, later this year. And so much of who I am so much of my personality, my looks, my thoughts, and the way I behave is based on things that I learned from him. I remember back when I was in college, I was standing with a group of guys who were just kind of visiting, talking, and I found myself going like this. I was just doing it un subconsciously, unconsciously, not really paying attention to what I was doing. And as I realized what I was doing, I thought about my dad, how often I'd stood there as he was standing and just kind of out of habit would start doing that. It was something that I learned just from watching. We hand on what's important to us and we hand on things that are good and bad. Fathers by their word, but more importantly, by their example, hand on to their children what is important, what is the focus in their life. St. Anthony of Padua, whose feast day we celebrated this past Monday in preaching, once said, with your words, teach. 
with your actions speak. And we hand on quite a bit. St. Paul, as he writes to the Corinthians, says to them, Brothers and sisters, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you. And then he goes on to describe what happened at the Last Supper. But it was something that Paul says, I've received and I am handing on to you. Just as fathers and mothers and, and all adults really hand on to the children.